If I told you there was a part you could buy for your hardtail mountain bike or gravel bike that would make it more capable, more comfortable, and more fun to ride, and not only that, it costs less than $200. Is that something you'd be interested in? I thought so. Welcome back to the Punk Uncle Show. I'm reviewing a product today that does exactly that. So hit that subscribe button and stick around. Today's review is on PNW's Coast Dropper Post. The pedaling efficiency that hardtails and other rigid frame bikes like gravel bikes and a lot of, a lot of bike packing rigs bring is one of the best reasons to have them. They're also usually a lot more budget friendly than full suspension bikes. Regardless of the reason you might be riding a hardtail or other rigid frame bike, there's no denying the fact that it can be a little bit rough sometimes. Without any rear suspension, the only thing that's there normally to soak up any kind of impact is your tires. So if you can run a little bit lower pressure in your tires, that helps a bit, but it's not like having actual suspension in the rear. And those rides can be tough on anybody, but especially people who might suffer from back issues or other physical ailments. If you've ever found yourself wishing for a little bit of a smoother ride, you're gonna be pretty excited about this dropper. This thing has the potential to be a complete game changer. Essentially what you're getting with this post is 40 millimeters of rear suspension. Now that doesn't affect pedaling because it has nothing to do with the rear end of the bike. It's all in the seat post. Now I was skeptical about how this would work when I first bought it because I was afraid that it would be difficult to get it set to a point where it wouldn't bob under normal pedaling, but then it would soak up impacts, you know, like smaller rocks and that kind of thing. Basically, I was hoping that the valving was advanced enough to where it could do both things at the same time. Fortunately, I found that the setup was actually really easy. I started about in the middle of the air pressure range and then just made little adjustments from there as my wife rode it. First thing I had wanted to accomplish was make sure that it didn't bob under normal pedaling because that would be a complete loss of pedaling efficiency if that were the case. So we got to that point and then it was just a matter of seeing how soft I could make it before it did start bobbing. So basically I wanted it to soak up as many bumps as possible without creating that interruption in the pedal stroke. So out on the trail, this post made a huge difference for my wife. She went from being in pain on most rides and really not wanting to go very far because it was just hard on her back to actually wanting to do harder trails. That's the level of comfort that the post brought. And I mentioned in the opening that it brings capability. It does make the bike more capable, not just from that um, standpoint of soaking up those bumps, but also having the ability to drop your seat post on descents. Obviously that's a huge development you know, in modern mountain bikes. Now, as I mentioned in the open, the price of the dropper is at less than $200. It's actually 179 bucks. So this is not only packed with features that almost no other post on the market has, but it's cheaper than most other posts on the market. From a sizing standpoint, it's available in 30.9 and 31.6 millimeter diameters. Uh, those two models come with 120 millimeters of drop. There's also a 27.2 millimeter diameter with 100 millimeters of drop. All models are available with both internal and external routing options, which is huge because a lot of hardtails don't come with uh, internal routing options. So you can retrofit older bikes or bikes that simply don't have internal routing capabilities uh, with these posts, and that is a great uh, feature to have. Now, this specialized fuse actually does have internal routing, so we went that way, of course, but um, that having the external routing options is really a good thing to note and uh, let viewers know because that basically means that any bike can get fitted with one of these dropper posts. As far as tuning the shock within the post, there's a valve right up here at the top, just under the saddle. And uh, you just use a regular suspension pump, just like you would on your shock or fork to adjust that. The range of pressure is 230 to 300 PSI. So like I said, unless you're really on the light or heavy end of the spectrum for riders, just kind of start in the middle of that range and then you know make fine adjustments from there. And it shouldn't take you any time at all to get this working really well. And I have to say, this is my favorite kind of review because really it's all good news on this. This product is awesome. It works as advertised. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and it does it very well. The quality of it so far has been great. We've had this on the bike for about six months 
and with no issues whatsoever in performance or workmanship, no problems. A price is one of the biggest things for me. I mean, there are so many dropper posts out there that run 250, 350, and this is $179 retail. But at the end of this, this is a 100% thumbs up, horns up from Punk Uncle. If you've got a rigid bike of any kind and you could use a little bit smoother ride, not to mention the capability of being able to drop your, your post and get the saddle down a little bit lower on descents, this is a no-brainer, guys. p and is a great company. There's great people running it. Their support is amazing, and the product speaks for itself. So go out and get one if you need it. Thanks for joining me. Remember to subscribe and like the video. We'll see you on the next one.